In this video, I want to share with you how to remove an image background using the GIMP software. So to start with, all you need to do is to start by coming to your start menu and opening your GIMP software. So start and then you can search for GIMP and you can see it over here. So once it opens, we we'll start with a very simple image that we can remove the background. So for example, you can just click come to background, uh, come to file over here and click on open to bring in our image so you can just navigate to anywhere you have your image so for example mine is the pictures and uh, let's say we call it Rashid okay, this one select it and click to open it so let's say we want to remove the background of this image and it's purely white background so we want to remove anything behind this very picture okay so the first thing we need to do is to come to layer over here and we can just come all the way to transparency and we can click on add alpha channel so we just click on add, add alpha channel just like so and then we can come to this very tool called the fusi select tool we just click on it and we can come all the way and click anywhere within the image that we want to remove usually this must have to have a custom color a uniform color that once we click it's going to remove that entire color from the picture okay so let's say we have this one so we just click on this and then next we can come to edit over here and we can come to clear over here so once we click on clear it's going to remove the background just like that you can see it has removed the background next you come back to select and then you click on none and it's back to the normal thing okay so once you finish we can just come to file come to export as and then we can specify is it going to be in jpeg or dot png so we'll make it rashid in png make sure you select png and then we specify which folder we are saving in so for example we can come to so let's say we are saving it here rashid.png so we say export and it's going to export this within these all these features so you keep everything at default and then you just say export you can see it has exported we can come over and you can see the image we can see it over here exported right you can see it very well uh, exported you can see even the edges and you can copy this to any of your document maybe PowerPoint and you can see it without background okay so let's say we want to paste it here we can just paste and you can see it without background even if we change the background of the slide it's still not going to have any background and you can see we can move it without any background all right so this is the first method which is the easiest method and the second example is a little bit much more complicated so we start by coming to file also to open the file we click on open and then we select the image in this case i'm just going to select this hand and we click on open to open it you can see it's much more complicated we just want to remove the hand just this hand from the entire picture containing all this write-up and this coloration and all that so we just want to remove hand the hand so the first thing to do is to come to layers also and just come to transparency and just click on add alpha channel again okay so we just the next is you can come to the zoom tool over here you just click on it so that we can have clarity of what you are doing we just click to zoom in so that we can see it clearly all right so the next is we come to this free tool free select tool over here we just click on it and we can come all the way and kind of draw this out so that we can be able to remove it out easily so we just click to draw so starting from here we just keep clicking with precision to make sure we get everything uh, correctly so we just kind of draw the hand out Okay, and the last point is we just click to join it with the big initial point. So we just click and we can see it is just joined. You can see the line, the border of the hand moving gradually. So the next thing is we zoom out. So we can just come all the way to view and we can come to zoom and then we can come to fit image in Windows. So we can see it has zoomed out and then we can come all the way to select. And because we want to remove this place, so we need to invert the other part, the whole part of the image. So we click on invert over here. And the next thing is we still stay on select and we can come to feather and just click on feather. Make sure it's set to default. It's set at the default 5.00 and just click on OK. And the last part or the last 
function is to come to edit and then you can come to clear over here to clear the background so we just click on clear and you can see it has just removed the entire background leaving us with only the hand the next is to come to select over here and click on no and then our cursor is back to normal all right so we can save this out we can just click on file and we can say export as and we we'll make sure it is set to png.png and then we we'll select I will give it a name let's say hand and we can navigate to wherever all right so recently used let's say we still stay on this and we click on export and we can click on export again you can see it has exported so let's check the file and see okay you can see the hand over here by just clicking you can see it with our background uh, let's say we copy it and we can paste it anywhere, maybe within our Microsoft, anywhere, maybe within our Microsoft PowerPoint. And you can just paste it over here and you can see the hand clearly. All right. You can just click, you can crop it to make sure you have it. And you say crop and you can move it around and you can see without background. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a bit about how to use the GIMP software to remove background from your image, okay, using the th two methods. So use the one that is convenient for you, but preferably understand the two methods and use them accordingly. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more of our very, very useful videos. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. It's